Hey guys, it's Mike here and welcome to AutoVlog. In today's video, we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to drive a manual. There are plenty of videos like this out there on YouTube and there's a lot of good ones as well. But uh, one thing that I've seen is that not a lot of the videos cover this one specific thing about learning how to drive a manual. And that is just focusing in on the clutch because that is the most important thing when you're driving a manual or learning how to drive a manual once you know how to do it you don't really think that much about the actual clutch so when you have a manual transmission there is an extra pedal versus just having two pedals when it's a uh, an automatic transmission and that's what people have the most problems with is learning that grabbing point that the clutch has to make the car move forward so what we're going to do here is start the car up today i'm by the way i'm in a 2015 ford mustang obviously it has a manual transmission now the manual transmission is the original transmission so in my opinion everyone should at least know how to drive one um and if you want to do real you know intimate driving especially in a performance car it's definitely a manual that is the way to go so what we're going to do is start the car up i'm going to put my foot on the clutch hit the button and here we go so on a manual transmission um, you either have most commonly nowadays is at least five uh, speed manual this one is a six speed so to get it into first gear put the clutch down never mind the gas pedal just put the clutch down or make sure the car uh, the car's handbrake is on and make sure that you have a level uh, field ahead of you so you're not in an incline or downhill but that kind of speaks for itself um, when you're learning to drive a manual make sure you have a level street ahead of you or pref preferably no cars around where I'm at right now there's a lot of cars around um, but when you first try it out make sure that no one's around so uh, you don't have to focus on crashing into cars or people so this Mustang here put it in first gear which is all the way to the left, and then you just push it all the way up. Second gear, all the way to the left and all the way down. Third gear is in the middle. Fourth gear is uh, down in the middle. And then fifth gear, all the way up to the right. Sixth gear, all the way down to the right. But we're just gonna focus on first gear and second gear. So what a lot of people don't know is that the car will actually start moving without you using the gas pedal. So when you learn how to drive a manual, you don't have to use the gas pedal. It's very simple. This video won't take too long. All you need to do is focusing in on releasing the clutch as slowly as you can, which I am right now. As you can see, the car is starting to move in a straight line. Now, once people try this out, they wanna, release the clutch right away because the car starts moving but the trick is to release the clutch slowly slowly all the way up whether the car is starting to move or not and until you have the clutch all the way up the car is moving on its own without me using the gas pedal as you can see here I don't have my foot on the gas pedal I'm gonna put the clutch back down and put it in second gear and slowly 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 release the clutch so it's all the way up then I can release it or take my foot off the clutch so as you can see here the car is moving all on its own without me using the brake pedal or I'm sorry the gas pedal I'm gonna stop the car here and we're gonna try it again so I put the clutch down and put my foot on the brake, obviously. Put it in first gear. As you can see, I'm completely at a standstill. Slowly release the clutch. And again, as you can see, my foot is not anywhere near the gas pedal. Car is slowly starting to move. I can feel the clutch grabbing. That's why the car is moving. And until the clutch is all the way up, I can take my foot off it. In 
second gear, release the clutch slowly. It's still moving. I am not applying any gas whatsoever. I am now though, because I'm going around this corner. Now this video is meant for you to just um, learn how to use the clutch because that is the one thing that people have the most problem with. A lot of people stall because they don't know how to handle the clutch and its grabbing point. And then they will apply gas too soon so it kind of sounds like this. And the car is just completely standstill and then they might release the clutch real quick and the car stalls. Now, to learn this technique and master it, you should learn on uh, level ground. So if you're in an incline, this won't work because the car still needs more power uh, because of gravity when it's in an incline. So you will have to learn how to uh, apply some gas. But it's very simple. If you can drive an automatic, you know what uh, amount of gas you need to apply for the car to start moving. So that's really no difference. Um, but as, as long as you learn where the clutch grabs, eventually I mean it won't take you long you will learn when to apply gas and how much you need to apply until the clutch is all the way up so the point of this video is for you to just learn um, where the grabbing point is of the clutch of the car that you're learning to drive a manual on so we're going to try this again my foot is nowhere near the gas pedal just releasing the clutch. There we go. Now I can apply gas if I want to. And put it in second. just to stress the importance and the point of this video is that for you to learn how to drive a manual you don't even have to apply any gas it's just one less thing for you to think of uh, it's easier if you just learn the basics first off which is the clutch That is the most important thing when it comes to driving a manual because the difference is that there's three pedals versus only two pedals with a automatic. So to wrap it up here, when you are learning to drive a manual, make sure you have level ground, uh, you have a manual transmission car, it speaks for itself, and that you slowly, slowly release the clutch. Uh, so the car starts moving forward and a lot of people don't really know that and I know it, it actually took me a few years before I even know that the car will actually move on its own without you applying any gas and it is a great way of learning of uh, how to drive a manual is to just learn where the grabbing point is of the clutch that you are driving so let me know what you guys think of the video did you find it informative and let me know as well if you would like me to make a second video where um, I explain more of how to drive the manual and applying gas and in an incline versus you know how to drive the car uh, down a hill and you know engine brake and that kind of thing if you want more of a full tutorial and you know review of driving a car with a manual transmission but the point of this video was just to stress the importance of you learning how to use the clutch and it's just nice to not have to think about well you know I have to apply gas as well and it's just one more point of the whole process but you don't really have to use the gas at all when you're learning to drive a manual so let me know what you think of the video in the comment section below. Um, and if this is your first time checking out the channel, please browse it. Check out some of the other videos that I have as well. If you like them, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Give us a purse the size of Texas. We'll fill the whole thing.
you saw a clip earlier of my junk. And I'm a pretty organized, neat person. But <laughs> I am. Okay, no. I am. I clean up after his ass all the time. Hun, 